Okay, here we're going to do some examples of uh, writing decimals as mixed numbers, and we'll reduce those uh, the fractions that are left over. And again, we do this the exact same way as simply writing you know any decimal uh, as a fraction. So I'm going to write 2.8 over 1. Again, we we like to not see decimals in our fractions. Uh, that's how we tend to write them. So to get rid of the decimal place in the numerator, we'll just have to multiply by 10 over 10. Well, 2.8 times 10, again, that just shifts the decimal place. That'll give us 28 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, 1 times 10 is 10. We could start saying, well, 10 goes into 28 how many times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, or we can reduce first. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and reduce my fraction is what I'm going to do. Again, these are both even, and so when I see a, a, a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are both even, I just immediately divide by the top by 2, which will give us 14, and the bottom by 2, which will leave us with 5. There could have even been a factor, uh, you know, some factor in common larger than 2. In this case, it wasn't. But again, to me, if I see they're even, I just start chopping it down by 2 because it's kind of mindless and I can do it quickly. And it just gives me smaller numbers to deal with. Okay, well, we're left with 14 over 5. I don't think that's going to reduce uh, as far as our fraction uh, goes anymore. And now we can just do, you know, we can do our, our long division and find the remainder. I think we can do this one, hopefully. Uh, I think, hopefully we can do it in our head. Let's see, so... 5 goes into 14, I guess, two whole times without going over, right? Because 2 times 5 would give us 10. We would need an extra 4 to get up to 14. And then we just have the 5 left over. So 14 over 5 is going to leave us with 2 and 4 fifths as our mixed number. And again, notice by reducing at the beginning, our fraction will uh, already be reduced here at the end.